Hey guys, got a quick word to share with you today and the title is, you're being brought beyond your natural abilities. And if this message is for you, you know, the Lord has called you to do something specific and you're looking at him and you're like, no, God, I'm not good at speaking, Lord. I'm not good in front of a group of people or I'm not a good writer, Lord. I can't do this thing. But the Lord is saying to you today, he is taking you beyond your natural abilities. That's where God's grace comes in. That's where we are empowered by the Holy Spirit to do things that we cannot do in our own strength. So this is the place where we really need to trust him and be like, okay, God, you know, I trust you and I'm going to step out and I'm going to go for it. And you know, I know you're not going to let me fall on my face because I know that I'm listening to you and I know that I'm being obedient. And to be honest, it's really in this place where we see what's really inside of us. We see what do we really believe? You know, we can read Bible all day. We can, you know, talk about it all day. But what do we really believe? And your actions are going to tell you everything that you need to know. So it's also in this place that you realize, like, if you have a fear of man, because when you're when you're doing what God's calling you to do, you have to be fearless because sometimes he's going to ask you to do things that are not logical to you. They don't really make a lot of sense. But then later you, you understand, you're like, oh, oh, now I understand. And that's where his ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. He doesn't do things the way that we do them, you guys. And the scripture reference the Lord gave me for this word is in Exodus 4, 10 through 12. And it reads, Then Moses said to the Lord, O oh my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither before nor since you have spoken to your servant, but I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. So the Lord said to him, Who has made man's mouth? Or who makes the mute, the deaf, the seeing, or the blind? Have not I the Lord? Now therefore go, and I will be your mouth and teach you what to say. So here in this story, we see that the Lord is asking Moses to be an instrument of his to help lead the children of Israel out of Egyptian bondage. And Moses is almost questioning God, like, God, I'm not eloquent. I stutter. I'm slow to speak. I'm not really good with the words. <laughs> then we also see in the story, the Lord is giving Moses comfort. And he's saying, look, I'm going to give you the words to speak. You don't even need to worry about it. The Lord was going to empower Moses to do things he wasn't capable of on his own. And the truth is that if it is something that you can do in your own strength, then it's probably not God telling you to do it because he pushes us out of our comfort zones. He challenges us and he stretches us because he understands what he has created us for way before we ever even get a piece of that puzzle. And you guys, please keep in mind, this word isn't for everyone. So please take it to the Lord in prayer. Ask him for confirmation and always test the spirit behind every prophetic word, including mine. A prophetic word should really just act as a confirmation of something the Lord's already been showing you. So let's pray over this word. Lord, I just thank you for this word and I plead the blood of Jesus over it and over every single person listening at the sound of my voice. God, I thank you that it goes out to perform what you sent it for. And I thank you, God, that you are empowering them to do what they never even knew was possible through you, Jesus. And God, we just thank you for that in advance. And I thank you, God, that they will not grow weary in well-doing, God, that they will be so fearless and have so much courage to walk the walk that you have called them to walk. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak destiny over everybody, and I just speak the power of the Holy Ghost over every single person listening in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. And FYI, you guys, I just started a Facebook page, Instagram, because I kept being asked all the time, hey, do you have any other social media? And I didn't. I'm not a big fan of social media. So it's funny that the Lord called me to be on it, isn't it? Anyways, and I also started a YouTube channel. So if you guys want to check those out, there's a link in my bio for every one of them. And I'm going to be eventually, I'm going to be releasing uh, a separate word on the Facebook page than I release on TikTok and 
and the same with YouTube. So not quite yet there, but that's where we're headed. Anyways, I love you guys and I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.